Hey, it's the GreenMagGaming.com advertisement at the beginning of every single video. So go to GreenMagGaming.com. Also, I'm wearing a gas mask while recording this. Please don't ask why. It's a long and complicated story. Just head down to the description below. Hey, audience. Hunter here, and welcome to... Uh, what's this game called? Armored Battle Crew. All right, you guys remember we played Bomber Crew? Well, this is basically Bomber Crew, but with tanks, which is literally everything I wanted out of a sequel to Bomber Crew, but this is made by different people. Anyway, let's see. Hold middle mouse to rotate the camera. It's very nice. We got a good old Mark V tank here. Old classic World War I era battle tank. Um designed for climbing over tr the trenches of the First World War. And it had these two giant guns on the side here and a couple of machine guns. One rear gun and one forward gun. X, X-ray, uh, oh, there's only one guy in here. Oh, shit. I click to select your crew. I click anywhere else to deselect. Okay. I'm activating the steering module. Left click to select your crew. Yeah, this is basically bomber crew. <laughs> Except he's walking all derp. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. Actually, this might be a little bit faster than it was in real life. Oof. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The rough terrain. Alexa, how fast was the Mark V tank? Hmm, I don't know that one. All right. <laughs> Open up Steam's web browser. The Mark V tank. I lovingly call it the MKV. And I think we're just going to call it the MKV from now on. They built 400 of them, and uh, the last known one was in service in 1945, and I think I actually know which one that was, and it was, it, it never went into real combat, it just went out on patrol. Let's see. Its engine was a 19-liter, six-cylinder, inline Ricardo petrol engine with 150 horsepower at 1,200 RPM, giving it a top speed of five miles an hour. <laughs> the closest thing we get to half a mile a day. Machine gun ran out of ammo. Well, then go get more. Can you please not walk like an idiot? Alright. Get that thing to the gun. Load it up. Alright. Okay. Each crew comes with a set of abilities. Use them at the right moment to give temporary boosts. All right. That's just basically faster reloading. Press left shift to go. Oh. Oh my god, okay, Bomber Crew never did anything like this. Shit, Re no, reload it. Hitting R, frickin', uh... That's not working, is it? <laughs> this is an enemy tank, the machine gun you are using is not going to do anything against it. Six to switch to the six-pounder gun. Oh, oh. Alright, we got canister, AP, shrapnel. 
Set target selection to hard so that your crew will target enemy tanks. Nice. Currently the canister round is selected. This is a close range anti-infantry round. Switch to AP. Nice. <laughs> Enemy targets behind cover, time to call in artillery. Man the signal module. You mean the radio? That's a radio. <laughs> Calling in supports requires command point. Artillery strikes can be called in using the signal module. I see. Alright. Blow it up. Uh, yep, that's about as underwhelming as I thought it would be. <laughs> we'll proceed to first aid training. Oh, this is our second crew member, Albert. Hi, Albert. Uh, oh shit, Albert's dead. Grab a medic kit. It's kind of convenient that we have all these things in the inside the tank. <laughs> Don't you die on me, Albert! Albert! <laughs> Remember, this is a simulated training. In real combat, you'll only have a limited time to revive a falling crew before they're knocked out of action. Grab more med kits and heal the crew to full health. Oh, can they not walk like idiots, please? How many are in there? Ten. Alright. And you need three in order to be fully healed? Next lesson will be slightly dull. Engine maintenance. This is the engine. State of the art in state of the art in Great Britain. Yeah, I mentioned the engine. Crap, fire. Get one of your crew members to, to the engine and put out the fire. Naturally, everyone carries this mini fire extinguisher. How many can repair it at the same time? One. Oof. Disaster averted. What more can possibly go wrong? Everything, I assume. Just received a report that the enemy has infiltrated our base. Oh god, it's the French! Okay, let's see here. We have a second uh, six pounder gun. I do, but I can't use it. Before you go, here's a few more important tips. This is the tank's input panel health and fuel. You can also trigger slow mo mode by pressing space. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, hang on. Exactly, am I go I'm going that way. Hang on, we got more people. This guy's the medic. John. Oh my god, he walks even slower. Wait, grab some ammunition. Mr. Francis over here, he is going to... Francis is going to grab some ammunition and... Oh, that's why they were walking like idiots. Oh, okay, we can move while in x-ray mode. That makes things a lot easier. Francis, go ahead and... Uh... I guess we'll load up that gun. Desmond! 
Sorry, I'm trying to drive this thing. What is that Francis move back and forth between the two guns? Speaking of which, get him on the other one. No, no, get on the gun. Here we go. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna cir circle around. Do not do not use that big gun to aim for infantry. Aim for the aim for the rental. John, get on the gun. Sending friendly troops to secure the area. It was such a derpy looking tank, too. <laughs> this concludes training. Yeah! Victory! I did training. Very nice. All right. Let's do an actual mission now. Welcome to the garage. Hold the middle mouse button or left alt to rotate the camera. All right. I see we, there that we have a Renault life, light tank. Paint. No paint. Let's have forest paint. Oh yeah, here we go, decals. For some reason they're all blocked. Mm. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> Scale it up so that we have the maximum amount of camouflage painting. What about arsenal? Ah, this is how we select our guns. So we can actually swap out all the guns on this thing from 1.59 inch Vickers to twin flame throwers, all the way up to a gigantic 3.7 inch mountain howitzer. Right now we're using the six pounder gun, which I do not call it that because the gun weighs six pounds. <laughs> they do it because the fucking projectile weighs six pounds. Oh my god. Okay, so... Our machine guns can go all the way up to a fucking elephant gun. Which means Geneva Convention is definitely off the table in this game. 
<laughs> a fucking elephant gun? Are you sick? You, you, they literally use that to kill elephants. <laughs> Barrack. Mm. Hey, who are you? Who are any of these people? Albert. And who are you? Medic. Sure. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He's like, yeah, let's go get into trouble. <laughs> so wait, are you a doctor? No, she's a fucking driver. Never mind. <laughs> So we need a doctor. All right, how about you? Oh, that's a beard, not a mask. Okay. Oh, look at this Boy Scout going on right here. Mr. Ernest. <laughs> oh, Ernest is our radio operator. All right. Bolt actions speak out louder than words. Yeah, but you're in a tank, so what's up with the freaking camo? <laughs> what's tech? Ah, we get new tanks. We could get a uh, Mark V male or a Mark V female. I forget what the difference was between the two. I think the female only carried machine guns and the male carried the six pounders. I'm not sure about the composites. The Whippet though is absolutely a light tank. Here, why don't I go ahead and convert? Uh, garage. The female, yep. I was correct in every single aspect. The female, the females only carry machine guns because it's mostly infantry you're going up against, and the males carry the Jijujik six-pounder guns. And these composite ones, I'm not sure. It says it has a six-pounder on it somewhere. Oh, there it is. So this time just has a machine gun for some reason. I don't know what that's about. All right, let's stick with the mail. And it also looks like we could create new ones. All right, to battle. Yeah, here we go, campaign. The barbed wire blockades and anti-personal mines to clear the way for an infantry attack. Avoid anti-tank mines. Support infantry and allow them to capture Pear Trench. Supplies will be parachuted in to resupply the infantry troops. Secure them before the enemies do. Alright, let's do it. Watch us explode immediately. <laughs> Have enormous holes teared in our hull like, uh... Planning infantry assault to take the... to take Pear Trench. Ooh. Before we can attack, you need to clear the path for the infantry. Will do. Barbed wire has to go. Crush him. Crush these anti-personnel mines too, but avoid the big and nasty ones. I can do that. All right, let's go. Let's go, people. Everybody man your posts. Ernest on the radio. Very good. All right. 
All right, so just bump into him a little bit. Go down. Yeah, there we go. Just run things over. It's a tank. It's heavy enough that it'll die. Yeah. That does nothing to us. Mostly because it's an AP mine. I just take out like one row of barbed wire and leave the other one. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, no. That's an anti vehicle mine. Eleven more barbed wire. We also need that supply crate over there. Come on. Uh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> World War One tanks were like the new thing. And and World War One taught us a whole lot about tanks. First thing it taught us was don't build your tank, don't design a tank in a hurry like the Germans did with their, uh, I lovingly call it the box tank, and don't design a tank through a whole load of committees, because then you end up with a tank like the TOG. The TOG was a brilliant designed tank with heavy armor, great gun, and everything, and great specifications if said if it was being built for World War One, which it wasn't it was being built for World War Two, and well, that's why the TOG was a disaster alright we're nearly done here that's all the barbed wire We just got to avoid those tank mines. Time has come. Support the infantry. All right. All right. We're a tank, so we'll take point. Infantry can come up behind us. That machine gun, we're gonna move right up towards it. Did William take a hit? He did. How? I don't understand how these things happen when you're in a tank. Ow! Yeah, they have a big gun up there. Francis, get on the six pounder. Let me do it. There it is. Nice. <laughs> what the? It's not dead. No, wait, where is it? Oh, there were two. Can't hit it from this angle. Get back on the MG. Ugh. I'm throwing grenades at me. Do not like that. This thing's specifically designed to be able to clear trenches, so. Surprise! Hello, boys. Ernest, bring him more ammo. Get 
Get on the gun. Ernest, back to your radio. Alright. What do we got here? Heavy rifleman squads. Needed to the machine gun. I think I might have to. Desmond, give me the gun. Nice. William, well, me. Okay, never mind. This thing is. Massively inaccurate. And he's out. Well, then reload it. Alright, let's grab a med kit. Uh, fix up our driver there. We still need infantry to capture it. But they're here, so don't know what we're waiting on. Oh, this thing has a smoke launcher. Let's floor it. Plus 50% vehicle speed. Only lasts 30 seconds and then has a cooldown. Which does not make does not make a lot of sense. Oh shit. It's John on the rear gun here. He's gotta take these guys out. It's like that because they have to look through these tiny goddamn holes. To... They can't see anything. that angle I'd just or if we couldn't move I'd just get him on the main gun. One of the two main guns. This is surprisingly boring. <laughs> Call in additional infantry. Damn right, we can call in additional infantry. Alright, enemies coming from the north. North and south, actually. Yeah, tanks back <laughs> during the First World War were basically just these giant mobile strong points. You couldn't really do anything with them. I mean, they, they were great for breaking the stalemate. That was uh, the notorious trench warfare, but... 
they were so slow and so stupid. <laughs> and there were only like five of them. Even then, most of the tanks that were used were the Renault. And this ugly beast. How many Renaults did they make? Alright. Well, the good news is... It is called the Renault. The Renault FT, so I'm not just saying something stupid. <laughs> and they made... What? Oh, fuck. Uh, they're shelling us. Wait, no, they're not. Fuck. They called it a rental. the main guns. Also, we are being shelled. We do need to worry about that. Hey, you fucker. Come on. Fucking dare you try to seize this thing. Ernest, get on the gun over there. Hitting tanks from the side and the back because it's weaker, but hitting them from the bottom? Let me see the gun. Shit. Scare all three supply drops before German troops disrupt our tea party. Well, they got a tank, so. It's a bit of an issue. William's been out of ammo for a while. John, you reload too. here pretty soon. Desmond, you get on the machine gun. Oh boy. Oh crap, fire! John, that's the ammunition store. If that explodes, we all die. Success. Dorothy, floor it. Whew. Really bringing out that horsepower. Ramming damage. Ooh. Like the sound of that. Move our gun so that it's facing that. Never mind. Hang on. Did we kill him? Here, switch ammo. And that high explosive. behind it.
any of you a doctor. <laughs> I think they're all doctors. And just heal everybody up. Especially the gunners, those guys are important. to grenade throwing distance we start having problems. Better yet, they get super close, they can basically just climb on top of the thing and like start killing us. Oh shit, they got a big gun up there. Alright, hang on. Francis, I'd probably have a better shot at that in real life. It's for me, anyway. Ernest, grab another mad kid. Dorothy needs it. What just happened? Tank stop. Oh, drive him. Driver, floor it. I don't know where the last objective is. And we're out of gas. Uh, can we get on the radio and request more? Where do we go from here? Fifty fuel, all right. We're moving. Let me get rid of this stupid nut. There we go. All right, pop some smoke. Figure out where this thing is. Is that it? of driving. Uh, I've had it with this stupid field gun. field can. Give him time to zero in on it. After that, we're gonna pull back and and do nothing because we're out of fuel again. Desmond, some meds. For fuck's sake. Alright, first off, using canisters. Don't do that. Switch to AG. See, that'll kill everybody behind it. And then... One more shot should do it. Oh, shot high. Okay. 
Okay. I assume we have infinite ammo, but... We have to wait two minutes before we can call in another uh, supply drop. Ooh. Ooh, that'll help. Ow! Crap, that gun's broken. That gun's on fire! with that damn fuel. Fucking finally. <sighs> Figure out where the hell that... Wait, I... is it behind us? Bitch, I'm gonna kill somebody. All right. We've already used two fifths of our f of the fuel that we have left, so floor it. All right, you gotta get us up this hill. Dorothy, come on, work with me on this. Also, try not to run people over. That, that's important, too. It's a tree. Go through it. Oh, motherfucker, come on! Can we call Artie on them? Who's not dead? Also, how many med kits do we have left? the doctor, so... It's a hun another 145 seconds before we can call in more fuel. Which is quite frankly ridiculous. Desmond, can you... Yeah, they're hitting us now. Just slam an HE shell straight into... And they're still firing. seconds and then we can take this thing. Have you even trying to hit that? I 
Right, that should have been right on top of it. Yes! Oh, that's what you get, you son of a bitch. Okay. <sighs> Nobody's in very good shape. Except Desmond, I guess. Ooh, plus 25% health up. Oh. Morphine. <laughs> All right. Small supply drop, then the speedy report, so that we can get a bit of a boost on that supply drop. And move, because they're zeroing in on us again. Just a command point. Where's the? Is it this? Oh, please tell me it's this. Floor it. This definitely is not it. Take it anyway. <sighs> It's not even marked on the damn map for some stupid reason. Like half the map is also blocked off too, and I can't can't access that part of the map. Which means we have 15 minutes to complete the other half of the mission. But we don't have the fuel required to complete this half! And we just ran out again. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna come back to this at a later date. Because in its current state, I am deeply dissatisfied at the fuel requirements. Just... This tank... Guzzles more fuel than the goddamn battle tanks in Foxhole. And those things guzzle a lot of fuel. And with that outrageous revelation, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. Much like Dorothy is about to slam her head into the fuel gauge really hard with her head. Because we keep running out of gas. I've got the reach in the teeth of a killing machine With a need to bleed you when the light goes green Best believe I'm in the zone to be From a yin to my yang to my yang to see Put a grin on my chin when you come to me Cause I'll win, I'm a one of a kind And I'll bring death to the place you're about to be Another river of blood running under my feet